Hello, I'm Dr. Gideon Micropenis, Professor of Sociology, Gender Nonsense, Race Baiting, Trans Waffle and Mindless Hysterical Screeching Wokery here at Fuckstick Metropolitan New University. I was greatly dismayed to learn in the news over the past few days of the hideous, ubiquitous and endemic rape culture that exists in many of Britain's top public schools. Thousands of shocking allegations have come to light that boys at these schools have long engaged in sexual harassment and abuse of female students. And as we all know, an allegation is exactly the same thing as a conviction. Where an allegation has been made against a boy at one of these schools, the automatic assumption must be that they are guilty. In the interests of protecting the girls at these schools, we must assume that all boys, without exception, are sexual abusers until proven otherwise. Posh boys with rich, morally bankrupt parents are inevitably going to turn out to be somewhat rapey, and public schools must put stringent measures in place to tackle that. All boys wishing to attend a particular school should be vigorously cross-examined regarding their attitudes towards women at the interview stage, and they must all pass an arduous two-hour entrance exam on the subject of feminist theory. Whether these boys are pinging girls' bra straps or spreading crude rumours about them on social media, it's time for them to face criminal prosecution and the full force of the law. If teaching these boys to respect women means destroying their lives forever, then so be it. Furthermore, sexual misconduct by schoolboys has clearly become so widespread and severe that we need to consider castration as a legitimate way forward. Perhaps the best solution to the sexual blunders of schoolboys is to turn an entire generation of them into eunuchs. Perhaps the only way to end toxic masculinity and smash the patriarchy once and for all is to chop their cock and balls off. Perhaps it's time for us to create a sexless culture, a culture where all sexual thoughts, words and actions are criminalized. Only then will women feel truly safe and empowered. Imagine an entirely sexless world. What a joyous fun place that would be. That, my friends, is progress.